Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a professional logo just like this one or profile picture. Just Subscribe. With a free editing app called And turn Pixar. on all notifications. Now, not everything's free, but what you're gonna be needing to edit, your own profile picture will be free. So I'm gonna start off with this one. I got the best angle. And I'm gonna cut out the background. Now, right when you start editing, there should be a cutout button. Click on it and then try your best to trace out the outline of your body or your 3.6x take a picture of whatever you want your picture. When you're done, press save. So first, I'm gonna start with my head and then go on from there. Get the little spots up. Okay guys, this is my finishing results. Now, if you get a finishing result like this, your shoulder's still showing some background. Doesn't matter, they're not gonna see that anyways, but. Okay guys, now I'm actually gonna change it to a cartoonish effect. So you gotta press effects, the FX button. Go over to artistic, you should already have it on there. Well, I do at least, go to cartooner. I cartoonizer your should look somewhat you like this when done around 50 I mean 35 and, and you want to put mask one all the way down to zero and put magic all the way to 245 is good around 245 at least and then I'm gonna apply that and press you see this button top left top right of the middle of the screen click on that click on more then click save image close that out and we're going to go over to canva it's a very good editing app that i that i use okay so you want to go to graphics once you look up circle from all to graphics and then you scroll down to this biggest circle right here this big circle make it the same size as the outline almost like this then you want to add that picture that you just uploaded or downloaded and upload it okay guys now you want to add the picture that you just edited make sure your neck is not showing or your shoulders, I mean, if you did take a picture of your shoulders. Now you want to put it around this spot. And put it as high up as you can. There. Now, mine's going to be around this eye. Make sure it fits around the middle of the circle, not the screen. Because I got a bad angle. So I'm going to put mine down a bit there. and maybe down a bit more perfect okay now if you want to add text watch this part it's being a bit glitchy it's not working so i'm gonna have to the text won't move around it doesn't do this normally it's just because i'm recording it's lagging but i'm gonna do text tech support press done there and you want to put it around the top of your head till you see that little that little square you know once you put it at that square that pops up you go over to shape and it will start looking like this kind of weird so depending on how big your circle is or if you followed along it is the same the same circle as me Or depend on if your if your text will fit at the same size or not. So I did 70 is my angle. And I'm going to move it down there. So this lines up perfectly. And if you realize how 
it doesn't line up, just go to effects, go to shapes, and change it up about five angles. If not that, change it up to 80. Five or 10 is all you want to change it up to. I've learned that because whenever you add like anything else, it will mess it up and the circle will get messed up. So you want to just add tech support, go to fonts, pick out your favorite, your favorite text or whatever matches the name like tech support, you want to get a high tech looking font, like what I did. So you see how the background, not quite the best background. You want to go to backgrounds in here, my bad. And then I'm going to add this free little picture that's right here. And you see how it looks like this? Now I can change my color to the color I want it, which is blue. And you see how it, you can't really see it as much. The background kind of messes up the text. You want to change the text effect and make it neon and put intensity all the way up. And boom, it kind of pops out more. And now I can change the circle back to... I'll change it back to blue. Now blue is my favorite color. That's why I'm using blue. But you don't have to use blue. But you can if you want. Blue just kind of goes with everything. So I use it. So now you want to press download. Top right corner. Between that crown and the, the up arrow. Which is the share button. So if you want to share this. You can share it. But it's still not downloadable if you do share it, by the way. So it should pop up that. And you want to go over to your channel. And this is how you add it. You look up YouTube. Studio. It will be the top link. Now it will redirect you to the app. If you have the app. But if it does that, just press open a new tab. And it won't redirect. And then you want to go down. Once you're on like your channel. There's a little button down here. It looks like a little wand with stars. You want to go to Brandon. The one in the middle. And change your. You see how I'm clicking on it. But nothing's popping up. You got to click and hold on it. Tap off of it. And then. This should pop up. It's kind of a glitch with the with mobile. It does stuff like that. Now you see how the circle perfectly lines up with with the circle that YouTube gives you. You see this light blue line right here. That's around the circle. That's YouTube. That's what YouTube does. It makes the circle. It makes your logo a circle. So it's gonna cut it off there. So that's why I want you to use that circle because it's perfect size. Now, when you press done, it will look very good. And then in my next video, stay updated, guys. Make sure to subscribe. Hit that bell button. Turn it on to all. I will show you how to do that right now. So I'll look up. This is my old channel's name. It's, it's what comes up right when I look up my channel. So if you want to find my channel, you got to look up the old username. But it has changed the Jake's Tech Tips. You want to click on all. Make sure you have all notifications on. So you can receive cute little videos of my puppy. Anyways, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.